الله وحي قصاب حي فورهد وين I'm Somali in the end الله والله 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 الله والله والله I'm going to fix my head So Anyo guys It's sixth day of Ramadan And We're the non-fasting crew again Because of personal reasons you know Pregnant, personal reason. I puked this morning, so my fast um, broke. My other cousin, personal reason as well, that we don't need to mention, you know. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. <sighs> oh, I look this tacky. Okay, nonetheless, you guys might have already noticed that I was totally feeling my outfit that day and I did a bit of show off, I guess. <laughs> I hope you like it. Sheikh style did a gir gir gir. Don't air. I need a Kala ila air. Jale, I'm going to go to the house. Fura, I'm going to go to the house. Yes. Wow, Adda, I see that. Forever late one. Forever late, forever late. Oh, Everyone is so casual day? today. I feel, yeah, like, I feel like I overdid oh, myself. And I look so pale. It is impossible. <laughs> impossible? <laughs> impossible? I like this way much better. <laughs> when it's dark. And uh, I look way much skinnier today. My forehead is so bad. I'm a real Somali. Um, Panda. 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 I really don't like it when it's way too bright. Oh my goodness, you know what happened to me once? Somaha. Somaha. There is this bus driver. So I was just assalamu alaikum. I say wa alaikum salam back. Obviously. Sen, imagine I'm at exactly this road yet. I saw the guy who was slowing down. I 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 was slowing the reason is because we're just gonna go around and look at stuff. I don't know if some, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some wanna buy something, and I, I'm, I, and I still haven't bought my suitcase. So I really need to go buy my suitcase because I'm going to London in two days. <laughs> and we just park, park the car. Finally, I really like it when the camera is not that bright on my face, and now we came to darker place. No, no, better like this. Now it's not that dark in here, or it's not too bright either. Who the? My cousin doesn't want to be on my vlog. She says she doesn't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, when you're wearing a loose hijab, it is very, 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 very hard to keep control of it. Oh my goodness. Perfect lightning. So my cousins are just walking around, kind of wasting time over here and there. Um, and my hijab keeps falling off all the time. Um, and they keep laughing every time I'm filming and vlogging and I'm just talking to the camera about, oh, you be like... <laughs> like, do you not laugh? I need to get used to vlogging, so please do not laugh at me. <sighs> me, personally, I'm just very, 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 very stressed, kind of. Because there's so much to do before going to London. And my dad just, just came back. Uh, it was kind of like on short notice. He wasn't supposed to come back this soon. Um, we were all missing him and all asking for him to come back um, since he had been gone for a year and a month in Africa. Uh, but he came back from my brother's graduation, um, as you guys saw. Alhamdulillah, he came back safely. And I am very, very happy, but um, 
I even cried when I was hugging him. Um, I'm very happy because um, I have, we haven't seen him for a whole year. But what saddens me is that I'm leaving so soon. So there might be plans of changing my ticket or not um, to like a week later or something. But we don't know that yet. Inshallah, I just feel sad that I don't get to spend as much time as I wanted with my dad. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of heavy topic, but inshallah, everything will sort it out and be fine. I'm just happy that he's here with us now. It just feel, oh, it doesn't feel like reality that he actually is back. It kind of feels very, very, very surreal, actually. So we're still walking around. We'll come to the kitchen section now. Yep, and they're just like looking around and not really doing anything. One thing I love about going to IKEA is the interior design, especially the kitchens. I am in love with kitchens. I love looking at different kind of kitchens. I even have so many dream kitchens that I can't even choose what kind of kitchen I want in the future. But whenever I look at interior designs and stuff, I always um try to think of what i will make my house look like in the future i'm even so in love with it that at work we have a kitchen section that i always walk by whenever i'm bored just only to look at the different designs and i always discover something new that's one of the reasons why i wanted to become an interior architect before but plans have changed so i'm, so I'm actually thinking of becoming a designer architect um normal architect that designs house and stuff since i'm also in love with that as well i just love everything that has to do with decorations constructions interior designing all the handy and creative stuff <laughs> some of you might already notice that we're we're struggling a bit there to try open it and it didn't really go so well but in the end alhamdulillah we finally managed to to get away to open it I've noticed something about myself. Every little chance I get to stand and look at myself in front of a mirror, I look at myself properly in front of the mirror. Oh my god, I look so weird now that, I, that, now that, now that I'm not wearing the now that I'm not wearing the glasses and I look so naked right now. I'm gonna try to fix my hijab. Hijab, hijab. Yes, my hijab. You stay there. Come on, Issa. No. So let's fix this thing. Do I look more modest than when the IKEA might be thinking they're doing me good with all the lights hitting me from everywhere but no because all this light is making me look like a ghost and now I don't know where my cousins went and I have to go look for them Oh my goodness. I came back to see I came back here. I came back here to see if I forgot anything. Um now let's go back to looking for my cousins. I think they should have gone this way since we came from there. Go so guys. I think I can hear my cousins here somewhere. I think I can hear them. This side part owner. This side part owner. Oh, where, where did they go? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I think I see them. Is that not them? Or is it? No, it's other Somali people. No, it's other Somali people plus them. I found them. I found them. Finally. Apparently. Apparently. Wait. 
focus. Focus, what else? Oh. So me, baby. So me. Yeah. It's not focusing. Now it's focusing. So apparently, one of the other small women were one of my idols. Yeah. They're kind of lost since they don't know how to get out of IKEA. This is it's their first time coming to the IKEA in our town. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm way too bright again. Wait. Okay, now the light is a bit better since I'm not super light anymore. Whatever. I really don't like being way too light. I like my skin color is a bit darker. But yeah, we're heading out to finally go buy my suitcase. So we're sitting here eating. None of us are fasting because of our personal problems. <laughs> and I kind of hate it when people are, oh, why you're not fasting? Like, obviously, there's a reason to why you're not fasting, or else I wouldn't be fasting. I'm not really reckless. I actually fast whenever I'm supposed to fast. But... Give up. Yeah, since none of us had had a proper breakfast or a proper meal before we, we had gone out, we took our time to sit down and eat some cinnamon buns. And since we were with our third cousin that's pregnant, um, she needed a, to sit somewhere to rest for a while. So that's what we did before continuing with all the shopping and looking for my suitcase. So, yeah, yet again, my camera died. Yeah, we just finished eating at Ikea, like whatever we were eating. So, yeah, my camera is still dead. Um, Alhamdulillah, it's been so gloomy all these days. It's been great, it's been dark, it's been kind of raining. And Alhamdulillah, the sun finally decided to come out. And we're loving it. We're totally loving it. Even though I look super bad right now, I don't even, I can't even see myself because the sun is actually blinding the screen. So I can't really see what I'm filming and what I'm not. We're inside, we're inside Klaus Olsen right now and it's actually, even though I work close to this place, it's actually my first time entering the store. So we're gonna look for a suitable suitcase here first and then go to the one I've been looking for at weeks. If I find one that's better than the one I've been looking at for weeks, we're gonna go, we're gonna buy it from here. But if I don't, I'm gonna go buy it, buy the one. I was not really satisfied with it, but it was the only other choice I had that was actually the better for real choice. A suitable one so if I don't find a hair I'll go to the other store and buy it over there inshallah finally came into the store and it came into the store I wanted to come into um yeah well here is where I'm gonna buy suitcases from the green one is way too bright but I think that is gonna be the one I will end up settling for <sighs> Well, I ended up I ended up settling for a color I didn't really fancy. I wanted a green one, but the green one was way, 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 way too bright. So I settled for kind of like purple-ish, pinkish one. Um, not really my type of color, but my cousins were like, "Oh, take this one. It's more, much more like." And I was like, "All right." They maybe see it in a new light. So yep, ended up being this one. <laughs> J'aimerais à vous avec un cœur plein d'amour.